There are times when you will need to display or hide a field based on a previous selected answer on a previous question. The conditional values will offer a lot of functionality and can offer you the flexibility for complex workflows or advanced forms. Since this is a video for beginners, I will show you how to display a field if the other option is selected in a pick list, as well as how to display a field based on a simple yes-no question. On our previous form, you see here that we have a first name, last name, company, phone number, and then which best describes your business. We've added an extra field into the pick list for other. Now, if other is selected, we want to have a text field displayed. Once in the form builder, you're going to see a list of your elements. In this example, we want the other business to be displayed when the option other is selected from the pick list of which best describes your business. A few elements are needed to accomplish this. First, you're going to need the data column name of which best describes your business. Next, we're going to need to go into the option list manager. In the option list manager, select advanced. Here you will see all options numbered starting with zero. You can see other is equal to five. When the fifth option of which best describes your business is selected, we want other business to be displayed. Now, inside of other business, we're going to go to the smart controls. Inside the smart controls, we're going to take the data column name of the first element, which is your business, and we're going to equals equals five. What this means is using very basic JavaScript, when the fifth option is selected in the first element, the other business element is going to be displayed. Let's take a look at this on our device. If we go down to which best describes your business, we're going to select other. Notice that the text element will appear, other business, and we're going to type in independent. Also, I can answer how would you rate the quality of our pies? Would you like to join our mailing list? If I select yes, I want enter your email address to appear. And finally, we have a select widget, would you like to join our mailing list? If the participant selects yes, we would like another element to appear that says enter your email address. To do so, we once again need our mailing list data column name. We also need to go into the option list. We need to see the option list manager. Click advanced. We're going to see that yes is zero, no equals one. So when mailing list equals zero, we want this other element to appear. We highlight the next element. We go into the smart controls. This is a conditional value where mailing list equals equals zero. Click save, load the form. And on the device, when I select yes, enter your email address will appear. If I select no, it'll disappear. 